Welcome back. This is part two of the Power Edge 6850 4U profile. If you haven't watched part one, I suggest you do that, otherwise you'll get a little bit lost with this uh, part two. Finally, I have managed to get a couple of errors showing up. Uh, being cold that it is, the unit's complaining about the ambient temperature, but that's fine. A little bit of fiddle farting to get it to fire up. Obviously, I had to clear CMOS, clear BIOS, and obviously reflash the uh, BIOS, which I managed to get it to do. Luckily, I have a BIOS flash on floppy. So let's power this up and we'll have a look at the BIOS of it. The only problem with these is when they first start up, they can be very noisy but they do quieten down. I won't bore you with just looking at a blank screen for the time being, these are slow to post. So um, I'll pause the video here, come back and we'll be in the BIOS. We're entering the BIOS. As you can see here, it has four three gig dual core processors and the PERC or Power Edge Expandable RAID controller. 4EDI, we'll go into that once we've had a look through the BIOS. Here we are in the BIOS, the Power Edge 6850. Four 3 gig dual core processors. As you see, I've had to redo the time and everything. The BIOS revision is AO4. We have 24.5 gig of RAM. I've got to find out what's going on with the RAM. I think there's a bit of a mismatch in there. And as I said, in part one, it has 16 meg of SD RAM graphics memory. It does have the ability to go into redundant memory mode, but that's obviously not enabled. Come down here and we look at the CPU information. You'll see they all have eight megabytes of L3 cache and one megabyte of L2 cache. See so here that we've got USB flash type emulation, which means it can be selected as anything you like. You can have it as a floppy, as a hard disk, whatever you like. We have a look at the integrated devices. Now, on my profile of the 1850 Power Edge that won't power up, this is what the RAID key is for. This enables the onboard RAID controller. Without it, you end up with just that. No RAID ability. If you have a PCI X RAID card installed, different story, obviously your hard drives would talk to the RAID card. However, this unit has the RAID in it, so we'll be going in and having a poke around in the 4 EDI RAID. As you can see here, we have our two gigabit NICs with NIC2 NIC1 is enabled and NIC2 is disabled on the PXE booting. The USB controller is on. Go down to here, we can have a look at the PCIX slot information or PCI. You'll see there that we have one 8 wide PCIe slot. We have a PCIX slot at 133 megs and the others are all 100 meg PCI X slots. So that's the um, that's the BIOS of this unit. Next, we'll have a look at the PERC 4 EDI RAID control. As I said, the 4 EDI with 256 meg of RAM. And here is the PERC SERG BIOS configuration utility U827, build date of January 21, 2005. As you can see there, standard type adapter 00. zero. What I like about these, if we go into objects, we can have a look at the adapter. And there's the adapter setup. Emulation is obviously for mass storage. You can also check the boot time BIOS options. And it does have the ability to automatically rebuild the array. That's what I love about this. And it's quick. In RAID 1, this unit will synchronize on the fly. You don't have to wait for it to build RAID 1. Gonna have a look at our physical drives. 
you'll see down there it's counting up the targets and there are our five physical drives as I said this is a two channel raid drive zero and one are on channel zero and drives two three and four are on channel one and down on location number six are the two SCSI processors we go back to that and we go to configure and I'll explain this we'll go to yes we will proceed I'll show you how quickly this gets a RAID 1 ready for operating now at the moment this has 69 gig hard drives in it of varying versions of 69.9 gig simply we can push oh hang on wrong key we go enter and space bar space bar enter what that does is that sets up your first raid and then go to f10 we push space bar for span one and f10 again and you'll see here we have raid one 69.8 gig we scroll down and we accept we escape out of that and you'll see it'll ask you to save the configuration you'll see you have logical drive one LD raid one 69.8 gig two stripes two drives stripe size of 64k and the drive state is optimal so we save the configuration now this is what I love about this perk raid controller ordinarily you would have to wait for it this one you select it by pushing spacebar and then you hit F10 you initialize it watch this raid 1 is ready you see here these are in raid 1 it is already ready to go what this does this raid card is it synchronizes when nothing's happening so you can install your operating system and once the server's sitting around doing nothing these will synchronize and the mirror will be set up we will now clear that configuration as you can see we'll count back up uh, hang on I've got to, hang on sorry wrong configuration button we'll clear the configuration you'll see it's already cleared the configuration my apologies about that we we're up the wrong one the other thing this can do is rebuild your arrays so if you lose a drive down here say one of these ones dies in any sort of raid configuration you simply pull out the button drive slap in a new one go into your raid controller hit rebuild and she'll rebuild on the fly and you can continue working this is why I love this these perk raid controllers they're all the same the 3di the 3edi the 4di the 4edi the 5i and the 6i are all the same they're fantastic raid units Dell have done a brilliant job with these raid systems so that's the um, that's the profile of the power edge as I said it is um, it is rather loud but once it uh, gets an operating system on they do quieten down one thing this will be used for I am going to change from Windows I am going back to a Linux domain purely I am going to be experimenting on whether Oracle Linux with virtualization works a treat on this anyway thank you for watching part two um, please like comment and subscribe